Hello, hello, everyone. Hi, I'm here. I figured it out. <laughs> can everybody hear me okay? And can you hear the game? Because I was having some trouble with my setup situation. Every time I go live, it's like I have to relearn how to set up Streamlabs and how to like do all the things. Hello, what does that say? Toka Star and Brick Boss. Hello, hello. Brandy, hi. Anybody else in here yet? Wow, thank you guys for waiting for me. How are you? Today we are just gonna catch up on some things and clean up my valley. Well, maybe not clean up the valley. We really need to um, do some quests because Gaston and Eve, I haven't finished uh, all their quests yet. Equestrian style, hello. God loves you, hello. Sarah Shelton, Alyssa J, Danny. Hello, hello, everybody. All right, I think that we're, I don't need to stare at Streamlabs. I can get started now. All right, I'm gonna put my headphones on. I also think I'm gonna wear my glasses today, which don't make fun of me, okay, guys? Cause they look a little bit, oh gosh, they look a little bit granny-ish, but I can't see without them. So I need to put them on. There we go. <laughs> oh gosh, I feel like I look so, like such a nerd when I wear my glasses, but it helps me be able to see everything that's going on. Melissa, hi, welcome. Okay, so first of all, let's go and look at our quest. So we need to, oh, and Jack, I didn't finish Jack's either. So I need to level all these guys up and then I'll be able to do their quests. So which one, which one should I work on first? I'm playing on the PC. And thank you, yes, oh, I probably should have mentioned, it's the one year anniversary today of my YouTube channel so we are celebrating together and I am actually showing my face on here which I don't normally do <laughs> when Mike is in our valley like when is Mike Wazowski coming soon my guess is next week is when he'll be here I actually think I'm gonna go over to Eternity Isle so let's fast travel over to there really quick Oh, I should work on Eve first? Okay, that's what I'll do. Oh, I wanted to show you guys my little coffee mug here. I have my little Cruella mug that I'm using right now. Mm. I have so many mugs, it's ridiculous. And I have like a, a small Disney collection that I don't really usually drink out of because <laughs> I just kind of display them. Okay, let's find Eve. I think she was in the here. Was she in here or is she in here? Where is Eve? I thought she was in the restaurant, but I could be wrong. Hmm. All right. Well, first of all, let's go check Scrooge's shop and then we'll go find Eve. Because I haven't logged in yet today. Also, I don't hear any music. What's happening? Let's see the volume up a bit, the music up a bit, I think I can actually hear it. Oh whale, hello, welcome, I'm so glad you made it, it's okay if you can't chat. Melissa, hi, I don't know if I said hello yet, Jenilyn, is that how you say your name? Hello, welcome, okay. What do we have? Do I have this chair? No, I don't have this one. All right, so we got a chair. That's good. Let's see. Ugh, I have all that stuff. Pretty sure I have all this stuff too. Yeah. Man, I can't wait for new stuff in Scrooge's shop. I really hope that they bring some more clothes and accessories and stuff in this next update. What ears am I wearing? These, what were these ones? 
I think they they could have been from getting the ultimate edition, I wanna say. Oh, we got a new subscriber. Thank you. Um, okay, let's see. Where are my ears? Ears. Okay, I'm looking for ears. It's hats. Um, let's see. These are the dazzling Mickey Mouse ears. So that didn't really explain very much. But I think I want to say it's from the Ultimate Edition. I want to say because I think I think these came from uh, when I when I upgraded my game from this. I went from like standard to the Ultimate, and I just got like all of the things because I didn't want to miss out. But I think that's where it came from. All right, let's see if we can find silly old Eve. Does anyone else hate that you can't really like see everyone in, in there? And when they're in the um, restaurant. Oh, she's in her house. Great, her house is, oh God, her house is way back in the valley. You guys, I gotta go get Eve, and then we'll come back to Eternity Isle. I could just like move her house back over to Eternity Isle, but I'll show you where she's set up right now. I really like it a lot. Hmm. This is taking a very long time to load. That's the only thing with fast traveling between Eternity Isle and the valley is it kind of like takes a while to load. But it took me an embarrassing amount of time to figure out that you could even fast travel. I was running into the castle every single time I wanted to go to Eternity Isle and it was upsetting. All right, let's see if Eve's in here. Eve, oh, you know what? I don't know if I've even like really looked inside of her house. Look at this plant. I don't think I've seen this outside of this house. That's so cool. Oh yeah, and this clothing rack. I want this too. I need to find that. I think I have everything else that's in here. Eve, come here. Well, let's do our little daily discussion with her so we can work on leveling. Because having the daily discussions helps level them up. Okay. And let's hang out. I don't know if I want to embarrass myself with playing Scramble Coin in front of you guys, honestly. I saw a comment somewhere that was like, Scramble Coin is like the demented chess game that nobody asked for. <laughs> oh, it cracked me up. Okay, look at my little Wally and Eve area. I love this so much. It's probably like one of my favorite areas that I've decorated. Of course, there's like a big bone pile here. But I love this so much. I think I wanna do like a similar orchard style area over on Eternity Isle too. I think that would be cool. Yeah. All right, now let's take Eve and go back over to Eternity Isle. What am I hitting? Not the right button, that's that's for sure. Okay. Go back over to the docks and hang out over there. <laughs> so I see one of you is playing. Anybody else playing Dreamlight Valley on a random Tuesday morning? <laughs> like me. <laughs> All right. Yeah, we could just like start by cleaning this up. I think that would help clean up this area. And I guess I can give you guys a little tour of what I've done over here on the turn of the aisle, which isn't much, I'm not gonna lie, but I can show you what I've done. So this is like the main area where your house is and stuff, but I moved things around. I actually have to move that green chest out of here, but I moved the stalls to right here. I've got Gaston's meat stall and which, by the way, I wonder what else he's gonna sell. I wonder if he's just gonna sell more meat, like different kinds of meat or if he'll sell something else. I'm interested to find out. I also think it's weird that when you buy stuff, he doesn't show up. Like 
the other character, you know? It's weird. But anyway, I moved my house over here. And I put some uh, plants here. Or, you know, the bushes and whatever these things are called. I can't remember. And then I made this um, sword in the stone. This is like one of my prized possessions right now. <laughs> But yeah, I put my house over here, and I just think it looks very cute. Oh, and Anderson, hello! I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Tammy, hi, welcome. If I miss saying hi to one of you guys, I'm very sorry. But I'm happy that you're here. All right. I'm just cleaning up this area and then we'll look at Eve and see what she um what she wants us to do. I probably should play Scramble Coin with her. I feel like that helps with the leveling. But we'll see. Alright, so I have a bunch of chests here. And this is just kind of how I organize stuff. I just go to each chest and a little bit and then I built this too I tried to make some of the furniture like the new eternity aisle stuff I really like this it's like a little tea set area and then I put my crafting table and my time bending table and my cooking thing like all right here so it's just easily accessible nope Eve how far away we are not that far away from level seven. So what did I what did I make Eve? Did I make her a gardener? What did I make her? Directive. Hang on. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what it yeah, I made her a gardener. So maybe we should plant some stuff. That might be fun. Okay. Let's clean up over here and we'll plant some things. Owen says, you didn't want to feel left out. Oh, no, I'm glad that you're here. Let's see. Anne, hi. Thank you for coming. Oh, I'm so glad you guys are here. It's kind of weird, though, because it, it feels very odd to, like, talk out loud and then, you know, only be able to read the replies. It's like, I wish we were on, like, a massive Zoom call or something. <laughs> Woo. Okay, let's dig some holes and then we will plant some things and hopefully get little Miss Eve up to level seven. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh, I got a little lag situation there. I love Eve so much. Mm. Owen asks, how am I doing? I'm doing really well. Thank God I didn't get like super sick right before this stream because the last time I promised I was gonna do live streams, I was sick for literally a month, like all of December. My whole family, we were just all so sick. I don't know if you guys saw the videos I put out um, with the last update. I sound awful <laughs> in all of those videos and I just could not do the live streams and I got so depressed about the whole thing because I was so excited to put out a ton of videos about Eternity Isle and stuff and then by the time I was able to even do it like everyone had already put out a bunch of videos about it and I was like man it's okay I am hopefully gonna be on top of everything with this next update which you guys at noon we're gonna check the uh, Dreamlight Valley socials and see if they posted anything. Uh, they usually post at noon if they're gonna post anything. So I wanna see if they drop any hints today and if they do, we can talk about it during this stream. Jen says, I heard if you give her roses, it helps Never level her up faster. Ooh. All my roses are back in the valley. <laughs> oh, I'll totally try that though. 
Alright, I'm running out of energy. Man, I have not played in a while. I need to make more berry salad. What do you guys make for energy? Because I was making mochas for a while. And those seem to do well. But the thing I like about the berry salad is that you don't have to buy any of the ingredients. It's just berries that you harvest. It's totally free and easy. So that's why I've used berry salad. How many holes did I just take? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wow, did I really do ten without even like counting? One, two. Okay, so it looks like we have fifty. 50 thingies here. Let's go see. Oh, wait. Let's go see what kind of seeds I have. I think they're in this green chest. Ugh, morning. Okay, what do we want to plant? Do we want to plant the cosmic fig seeds? Those are cool. Grape seeds. Hang on, let me fix this real quick. Yeah, I still use the berry salad because I always have an abundance of ingredients. Right. Yeah, berry salad is the best. Ghostly fish steak. Yeah, but then I gotta catch those fish. <laughs> I don't feel like doing that. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, Queen Catechus, hello! I was wondering if any of my members were gonna make it. Oh, I'm so happy you're here. I started including dream mangoes. Wait, did I learn that from you? No, because I don't mess with the recipes. <laughs> I just like to autofill and I'm pretty sure, like I honestly, I haven't thought that hard about it, but I think the autofill will just automatically fill like what the regular ingredients are. And then if you want to change it, like you have to manually put them in and I just don't feel like doing that. So I, uh, I just do autofill. But I have heard, like, changing the ingredients, like, the different kinds of berries and stuff will, will make it, um, give you more energy. Hi, Taylor and Darwin. Welcome. Thank you for joining. Cynic? Is that how you say your name? Has anyone else noticed that Jack Skellington mentions wanting to research Valentine's Day? Wonder if that's a hint. Oh, it could be. Oh, it would be so cute if Jack had, like, a Valentine's quest, like a side quest. Oh my god, that would be adorable. Yeah, autofill is where it's at. I just don't have time for anything. Um, <laughs> I think we're gonna plant these cosmic figs. I think that'll be a good one Life's for Eve, little Miss Eve. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh no, game. Ugh, oh, my game is lagging a little bit here and there. But yeah. I think I might make a Miracle Grow potion so that I can just harvest these right away. Um, so hopefully we can get Eve to level 7 pretty quickly. She might even hit that before we even harvest anything. Gardening is just my favorite way to level because like she's getting the little stars even just from this. It is quite repetitive, but Lisa, hi, welcome to the stream. I decided not to wear my Mickey ears today or my mini ears. It's kind of hard to put them on like with the headset. <laughs> But I saw someone on TikTok, they have like a headset that has like the ears and they're Dreamlight Valley ears. I don't know if she like had them made or if she made them, but they're really cool. I would love to go live on TikTok though. I feel like TikTok is like a really good place for going live, like doing live streams. But I need, um, <laughs> I need a thousand followers on there and I don't have a thousand followers yet. But eventually, like, I feel like streaming on TikTok would be super fun. 
I also like that on TikTok you can like get away with um, like playing music and stuff in the background. Carol, hello. Hey Jamie, everyone just sneaking on during work. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't get in trouble trying to watch my stream. It's not that serious, Carol. We are just trying to level up Eve right now um, and do her quests because I would like to have everybody's quests done uh, by the time the new update happens, which I really, really think is gonna be next week. Darwin, thank you. That's so sweet. Oh, there we go. Eve is level seven. I'm still gonna water everything because I can't just stop like part of the way through. Oh, look at her level 10 outfits. Ooh, I really like that dress. I don't know if I've even seen anyone wearing that yet. I am usually like, oh gosh. Ursula is just right there. I'm usually done like all of the quests way before the next update happens, but this time, like like I said, I was sick for like all of December, so I just didn't have it in me. And I don't know, I've just been taking my time with this one, and I think it's totally fine. I don't think like I've tried to do videos about or doing like guide videos on quests and stuff, but I just don't, like people don't really watch those on my channel. Um, the videos that I get views on are really the um, like update videos where it's just talking about the new updates and stuff. So that's what I focus on. All right, Eve. All she said is, hmm. Eve, home, home. You mean your house? Woo! What's in your house? Classify. Of course you would want to go back to her house when I put it in the valley and I'm trying to be over on Eternity Isle today. Okay, it's very Ooh. mysterious. Alright, <laughs> let's go to your house, I guess. Mm. I could move her house over here for the day, but I really don't want to. In Valentine, people say a thing of Mickey Mouse and Minnie Mouse. You know what? It would be really, really cute if they did the update for Valentine's Day and they had some little side quests that were like, like, cause I, the update is not gonna have anything to do with Valentine's Day, I don't think. And if they do a star path that's Valentine's, I'll kind of be upset because, like, I would have wanted that in the first week of February. But it would be cute if there were some little side quests, like a Jack Skellington quest. And then, uh, you know, maybe Mickey and Minnie going on a little date or something. But I feel like we've done that. <laughs> I feel like we've done a Mickey and Minnie date a couple of times already. If I'm remembering correctly. Oh my gosh, Danny, you have a lot of characters to level up. I have been, it's shocking how well I've been able to stay on top of things with this game because I am a person with ADHD. <laughs> so like for me, I start a lot of games and then I don't, I, I don't continue. I get like part of the way through and then I forget all about it. It's just like Hogwarts. I said in my last video, I haven't played Hogwarts Legacy in almost a year, like since it came out, I was playing it like here and there, but I just, I don't know what happened. I just, it's a great game. My brain is just like, nope, we're good. We're going to move on. So it's pretty amazing that I've actually been able to play this game like nonstop since it came out. Christian Henry, am I saying your name right, Christian? Hello, good morning. I'm trying to keep up with you guys in the chat and also do this and it's a struggle for my brain. <laughs> what plant? Oh, you mean the one in the corner. Oh, poor thing. Oh wait, is it this plant that I was talking about? Is 
that mean this plant can't be scanned? Hmm. Maybe we could add an accessory to your scanner to help it scan plants on Eternity Isle. You need some electric power and mechanical. Oh, I, you know what that means. It means I need to go back to Eternity Isle because I don't have any more electric eels and I think I need those. We need ancient gears. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, I should really do like a good round of fishing and um, oh, do I have, the, I think I might have the electric thingy that she needs. Danny, you've played, <laughs> you were playing Hogwarts Legacy 2. It's an excellent game. Like, it's really, really cool, especially if you're like a, a big Harry Potter fan, um, which I, I definitely am. I was, I was a kid that grew up reading the books, um way before there were any movies or anything. So I am a very, very big um, Harry Potter fan and you know, that wizarding world fan. Um, but I don't know why I just, I guess I, I think I got overwhelmed by that game because it's like huge, you know? Okay, I think I might actually have everything that I need to craft this thing for Eve. Oh my God, I came out of the way. Do that. Do I have everything? I do! Let me see, what does it mean? Oh. Okay, did I not need a, the electrical thing like I thought? Uh, also, in case you guys haven't noticed, I don't remember the names of anything <laughs> ever. <laughs> so, I thought I needed this electric power thing, but I guess I don't. All right, go back to Eve's house. Now look at Jack. I love the way he sits and like sulks and thinks. It's hilarious. I need a controller for my seat, PC to play. You know, it's so funny that you say that because I, that was like the whole reason that I got a controller for this, um, for this computer was so that I could more easily play that game because it's hard with the keyboard. And I'm so glad I have the controller now because there are so many games that um, I want to play on this computer that I just feel like are way easier with the controller. All right, let's give Eve her little scanner thingy. Here she Here's your new scanner accessory. I'm sure it will work. Woohoo! Time to test your new scanner accessory on this plant. I think we are talking about this weird plant. It says dreamlike cobra lily. <laughs> oh, you really sound like you want to help with this plant. Okay, let me take a closer look at it just to make sure what we're dealing with. Okay, investigate the plant. The slumbering dried plant seems to regain some energy at your approach. It tries to bite off your finger. Jeez Louise aggressive plant okay oh I love carnivore plants that try to eat me <laughs> let's see if we want to bring this dreamlike cobra lily back to its former glory it needs to be properly fed but I'm not sure what it likes let's see Eve has an idea she gave me a recipe Ooh, gourmet grubs. Interesting. I don't think I've made that yet. Oh, I need a sea snail. Oh, crap. Where do I find a sea snail? Definitely on Eternity Isle somewhere. Is that a fish? Yeah. Okay, so I need to fish on the docks in the overlook. Okay. No problem. You play Harry Potter on the Nintendo Switch? I, I don't know, I love my Switch, but I have not played very many games on it. I did play Pokemon Snap, the new Pokemon Snap on there because it is excellent. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Um, I grew up on the old 
old Pokemon Snap. And uh, so I was really, really excited when they remade that game. And it's so good. I love it so much. So I played that on my Switch, but I'm just not, I don't know. Everyone complains about Dreamlight Valley on the Switch, so I haven't bothered with that. And if it can't handle Dreamlight Valley, then I feel like Harry Potter would be hard to play on there. Ballroom Dancer, hello! Welcome to the stream! My day is going great. I love hanging out with everybody and playing Dreamlight Valley. It's my favorite thing. I play Dreamlight Valley on the Switch. It's very difficult. That's what I hear. Brick Boss, did I say hello to you? Hi, welcome to the stream. But yeah, I hear that Nintendo Switch is uh, very difficult to uh, to play this game. What am I doing? Fishing. That's right. <laughs> and I have my potion on here, so hopefully, ooh, hopefully the sea snail is one that you need. Need the orange circles for. I can't remember. I feel like that's wrong. Yeah, I'm gonna get a bunch of these robot fish until I let this potion wear off. Let's try the blue, see if they're in the blue one. Mm. Yeah, I kind of, I lucked out with this computer because um, my boyfriend, he's a big PC gamer and I never was. Um, until I decided to make YouTube videos. It's just kind of like easier to do games on the PC and make the videos on there too. So um, he gave me his computer and he like upgraded to a better one. But this computer is like built for gaming. So it just, it just happened to work out really well <laughs> for me. Um, so everything runs really nicely on this computer. But like I'm, I'm already like I, I'm converted so hard to a PC person, like with gaming. That now I'm, I'm wanting like an even bigger uh, gaming computer. It's awesome. I love it, especially with the controller. Oh my god, it's so fun. I guess we're just gonna fish until we find a, a sea snail. <laughs> Trying to fish and recall at the same time. <laughs> it's too hard. Jen says I'm so glad I play on my PC. Me too. Let's see. I'm nearly seven, nearly eight, because my birthday is September the 14th and I was born in 26. Wait, what? <laughs> when were you? Wait, when were you? I'm confused. Let's see. Yes, Darwin, please don't share any personal information uh, on here. You should never share your personal information on the interwebs. I've gotten like a lot more strict about that lately. Like basically when you start to have a lot of followers, it starts to get a little bit scary. So I'm like, maybe I don't want to put like so much of my family and like, you know, my real name and all that stuff out there, like, or my full name. You know, now I'm kind of like, oh, I don't think I want to post anything um, publicly anymore. And it gets a little bit scary. knocking. If you guys hear knocking, I'm sorry. I have a child <laughs> in my house. <laughs> Jen, me too. My hubby got me into PC games. Don't play a lot of games, but I agree. Yeah, it's so it's so good. Like, I just, I never realized, well, probably because I never had a, a good computer <laughs> until now. Um, so I never, like, you know, I, the only thing I played religiously on the PC was The Sims. Um, I played The Sims and like way back in olden times I played uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon 
and um, a game called um, Theme Hospital. And they actually remade Theme Hospital into Two Point Hospital, which is an excellent game. But those are like my main computer games growing up. Um, but I barely had a computer that can handle even that, even those games. How do you get the scales? I think the scale, oh, hang on, how do you get the scales? I don't think I've even gotten the scales yet. Um, is it in fish? No. It's in something else. Foraging? Uh, yeah, the scales. The scales are somewhere specific, and I, I looked it up, and I don't remember what I looked up, but I, I need to, um, I need to get those, because it's like the last thing on my list. You can get them. I just forget where exactly. So, oh my gosh, my like bare neck is out. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't remember. I, it's somewhere very specific. There's like one small place to find these and I can't for the life of me remember where that is. Danny, you played those games too growing up? Isn't it fun being old? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm not old. Everyone said I look so young in my last video. I was like, heck yeah. I'm old enough to have played like the original Roller Coaster Tycoon and Sims, like The Sims when it came out way back in the day. Do I play Minecraft? My son plays Minecraft. I have played Minecraft before. Um. I just, it's, uh, it's a lot. <laughs> I'm not very creative so, and I'm like not very good at it either. Like I, I'm always accidentally destroying things and it's just, it's just not a game that I'm very good at, but he's excellent at it. My son is like a Minecraft uh, expert, so he's tried to teach me, I'm not good at it. Ooh, we got a snail! So they, they are in the blue. They're in the blue things. Okay, awesome. Now we need to cook a plate of gourmet grubs. So let's go back up to my little I can't home. Wait to explore. Let's see. And we'll cook gourmet grubs. I don't think I've made this yet. Why is it not in here? Why are you gonna not be in here where I need you to be? Is it in the main entree thing? Oh wait, did I learn it? Do I have to learn it first? Hang on, God. I'm, it's like I've never played this game before. <laughs> the scales are in the oasis and you have, to you have to fish the empty area in the oasis. Okay, I am, yeah, you're probably right because I, I remember reading it. Oh, look at how cute this is. It's from the Lion King. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Okay, now let's see if it shows up in here. Yes, it does. Okay, good. Good thing I only needed one one snail for this. Let's see. Let me try and catch up with you guys. <laughs> Yeah, a, mul a couple of you guys are saying the oasis for the scales. You're probably right about that. I just, I don't think I've, I've fished in like the outside of the circles over there. We can go test it out if anybody cares. Look at how cute this is. Oh my goodness. That looks weirdly realistic. Let's see. I met my husband playing an MMO called EverQuest 2. But other than Skyrim and Fallout 4, DGV is really the only other PC game I've played. Oh my gosh, that's so cool that you met your husband playing <laughs> EverQuest 2. That's so awesome. I met my boyfriend at a horror movie convention, and we love telling people that because it's such a random and weird thing. But um, it's always fun when you meet somebody doing something that you love to do, you know, and you share that. It's so nice. <sighs> the 
<laughs> maybe typical that are older than the typical gamers, but we're still young at heart. I truly believe that. Brick Boss is back. Welcome back. Brick Boss, do you comment on all of my videos, if not most? Man, I'm, I feel like I am just now seeing your name, though. Do I respond to you? I try to respond to everybody, but usually if I, I'll respond to everyone on a video, and then when I post a new video, I'll try to respond to everyone on that one. I don't typically, like, go back and, um, you know, keep checking on all the older videos, but I try so hard to comment back to everybody. <sighs> But, um, you know, when people are commenting on the older videos, it's just really hard to, uh, hard to keep up. Ballroom dancer, I'm 39 years old. Like, yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, I get that a lot too, where people think that I'm like way younger than I actually am. And it's, I feel like it's been in my 30s that I finally stopped getting like carded everywhere I go. <laughs> Do you play WWE games? Like the, like wrestling? Queen Miku, is that how you say your name? Hi. I met my husband on a Hatsune Miku group on Facebook. Oh, that's so cute. I wonder how many people have like met online. I'll tell you what, anybody that I ever met online, it just did not work out. <laughs> the only person that it's worked out with has been the one I met like in, out in the, in the wild. All right, let's go feed the Cobra Lily. Oh, we did, okay. Oh, it worked. Good job. Okay, good. They're not gonna make me go back. Did you know you're practically every Oh, did she give me the plant? Mm. Call me the carnivorous plant tamer. You don't seem too thrilled about going back to gardening. Maybe what you need is a directive that's a bit more you. Oh, look at Wally showing off for Eve. Okay, so that's a furniture item. <gasps> look how cool! Oh, I could just keep this over here. What do you think? I'll just keep it there? I'll just put it there for now so we can look at it. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's this little red monkey. Do I have a thing to feed you? I do. Let's try and catch the red monkey. I don't know. I don't know if I have him or not. That's another thing I haven't kept up on are all my critters. Alright, let's feed you a banana split. You're so cute. I don't know if I have you or not. Uh, no, I do not play wrestling games, but uh, my boyfriend's very into like the whole wrestling thing. I will watch it occasionally when he's watching it, but it's not it's not exactly something that I um, am that into. My brother uh, and my cousins growing up all were really into the wrestling, like WWE stuff. Sarah Shelton thinks that I, or thought that I was in my 20s. I appreciate that. <laughs> what character do you most do you want most in Dreamlight Valley? I would absolutely love to have Baymax. You know, I just watched Big Hero Six, like from beginning to end for the first time the other day, <laughs> like recently. Um, hang on, let's check on Eve real quick. Did I fin I finished her quest? Yeah. Okay. So now we need to level her up the rest of the way. Which is gonna be a while. That's for sure. Um, anyway, who would I like to see in the game? Um, I think, I, I really want, well, I'm very excited for Tiana. Um, I'm very excited for Mike Wazowski. Let's see. Um, I think I want more classic princesses, but I feel like those are definitely going to be reserved for 
big expansions um, or they're going to be behind some kind of paywall for sure like Cinderella I can totally see Cinderella being what like Cinderella Snow White Aurora I can see all of them being like um, ones that they save for the big expansions you know because Rapunzel was another big one that I was really um, my hair is doing something weird that I was really excited about and I and I just kind of knew that she was going to be um, in, I, I don't know how to fix that. <laughs> I kind of just knew that she was going to be like uh, behind a paywall of some kind. A lot of people didn't believe me when I said like you're going to have to pay for the big character, like the really really big characters, the classics. Um, I knew it was going to happen eventually. But you know, at least it's not like a, you know, pay 20 bucks and you get Cinderella. Good it's like we got a whole huge game expansion, you know. So I think, I feel like that it was worth it. Oh no. Oh god, the stress. Oh god. Did I do it? Did I get them all? I would like to see Aurora too. Mulan. Oh yeah, Mulan is coming. I'm excited for her too. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. No, do not plant that. I always accidentally like plant things. Let's see. Ooh, Queen Maleficent. Is Malefic yeah, she's a queen, right? Or like the evil queen, I'm like, um, what is it, Snow White? Oh dear god, Eve. Oh gosh, I gotta sell, I gotta sell some of this. Actually, let me, let me hoard these. Get out of here, Goofy. Hold on, you guys, I'm trying to hoard things. Boom! Okay, that's too many. Let's take some out. <laughs> Let's see. I can't seem to get up early enough to get the white squirrel in the- Listen, I'm never gonna get that squirrel. <laughs> um, I think that might be the only one I don't have. I Actually, we can look at my collection. I, there is- there are a couple, I think, st in the valley that I just never got, because I'm just, I just can't do it. Um, especially the ones on, like, a Saturday, you know, like, oh, random times like that. Anyone it's just, here I know how to have fun. What else? Do I want to sell anything else? No, I can't. Okay. Pick up all these dang berries. Oh, Alice in Wonderland. That would be super cute. It would be cool if Alice, like, if we went to, like, a Wonderland-themed area. That would be really neat. Like, um, like a whole expansion for her. That would be cool. I don't know if that would be a thing, but it would be neat. Let's see. Hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, the red fox. Did I get the Okay, let's just look at my collection cuz I don't know critters. Okay. Yeah, I don't have the <laughs> I don't have the white squirrel. Um, uh, let's see. I'm missing the white squirrel, the brown raven, which will be there tonight. I guess I could try to get him tonight. The red fox because I think it's like what did he show up on like a Saturday morning? Who wants to do that? You know? Oh, and the blue raccoon. I forget when this one's... Wow, I didn't realize I was missing so many of these. But yeah, I think that those are like the ones that are on... They're, they're just during times that I'm not playing the game. That I'm like not typically playing. I have to actually like set an alarm to do it and I just don't want to. Ha <laughs> ha. 
I cannot wake up at 2 a.m. for the white squirrel. Wait, when is the white squirrel there? Do you guys know? I feel like you said it. But the white squirrel, it is like a weird time. It's like very early in the morning. Is it like just in the middle of the night, like a very, very early morning that the squirrel's there? The white squirrel? Cusco and Yzma? <gasps> oh my god, I totally forgot about them. I would love it. Oh my god, and could you imagine Cusco? He could like have a dream style of his like llama form and his human form. Oh my god, I would love that so much. That's one of my favorites. For sure. Let's see how I'm doing on the critters on Eternity Isle. Still working on the beige monkey, the black and gray monkey, the red and beige monkey, and then why aren't these grouped together? It's so weird. Um, let's see, I still need this. Wait, are there any others that are here today? This one's 6 p.m. I guess I could hop on here tonight to try and get this monkey and that um, raven. So I could do that. If I remember, the red and beige monkey is here today. The red and white striped capybara. This is another one that's like the, the fox. It's only there like on Saturdays, I think. Um, I have a whole video that's all about um, the Eternity Isle critters and their complete schedule. Because I'm not going to remember. I have to like go back and look at my own stuff because I'm not going to remember that. Ooh, but this cobra is here today. Let me go and feed this guy, too, Good while we're morning. thinking about it. The red fox... Okay, so wait, hang on. <laughs> 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. for the white squirrel. There's no way I'm getting up before 6 a.m., and there's no way that I'm staying up until 12 a.m. <laughs> it's just not gonna happen. <laughs> And so you have to do it twice. Is that the, hang on, is that the, um, is that the cobra we're looking for? Okay, I have plenty of eggs, so we could always feed it and let's see. No, I, this is not the right cobra. That's not the one I'm looking for. Alexandra, welcome back. How have you been? It's been such a long time since I've done a live stream yes I had planned live streams in December but I um, it didn't work out I was very very ill <laughs> but I am so glad that you're here I'm glad to be doing this hopefully um, hopefully by the end of the year my I'm working on a new um, like uh, home office type deal so hopefully I will uh, is this the same? Is this the same one I just fed? Dang it! I think I just fed the same thing twice. Anyway, um, I'm working on a home office, and I'm thinking that once that's finished, um, it'll just allow me uh, more time to do streaming because it'll be in like a just a better part of the house, and it'll be set up better for streaming, like. This is quite the production, let me tell you. Like, I have this stupid green, I have a very cheap green screen that <laughs> is broken. So it's just, it's a lot. It's a lot to put it all together. Oh, there's a chest up there. I'm trying to find that cobra that I'm missing. Oh, hang on. What are you guys saying? The red fox is 2 a.m. to 8 a.m. That I could possibly do. Um, but there's no way I'm getting up uh, before 6, that's for sure. Let's see. have to dash off to where it's nice hanging out with you. Thank you for coming, Queen Catechus. Thank you for being a member. I hope I said your name right. I, I feel like I messed it up. But thank you so much for being a member. And I hope you have a great day at work. Oh my god, it would be hilarious to have Kronk. Oh god, I would 
freaking love Kronk. Can, can you imagine exploring an Emperor's New Groove realm, or realm? Yes. Yes, I could. And it would be amazing. I would love it so much. Alright, I need... Hang on, you guys. I need to focus for one second to find this stupid cobra, and then... And then I can uh, get back to my questing and leveling and such. Maybe up in the oasis? Maybe you're up here somewhere hiding? Maybe you're down here somewhere? Why can't I find this cobra? See, sometimes they go down here. Hide. Did I feed it? Did I feed the same cobra to twice, or did I feed the right one? Hang on. I don't even remember what it looks like now. I'm looking for... It's the yellow and purple. Yeah, I don't feel like I... I don't think I fed that one. Were you guys paying attention? Because I wasn't. <laughs> I have no idea which cobra I fed. This place is starting to look amazing. I can usually spot them pretty easily, but I'm having a hard time. Is this the one that I fed? They're really it's really hard to tell like what their colors are. Or is that just me? Is that just a me problem? Oh, yeah, my mailbox says I have mail, but I don't. It's been stuck that way for, like, a, a long time now. Rascal Gamer, hey, welcome to the stream. Thank you for coming. Welcome, welcome, welcome. You guys, I'm about to give up on the, the whole... Cobra thing. This is why I don't have all the critters yet, because I'm just... I have no patience for that. Let's see. I kind of want to work on Jack's uh, levels, too. I really wanted to actually finish Jack, um, his whole quest line before Christmas, because he uh, has the Santa dream style at the end but that did not work out <laughs> I just I like, really wanted him running around in his Santa costume but now it's like it's gonna be weird if he's just running around in a Santa costume let's see maybe we should do some more farming or gardening for Eve I think I have some stuff over here I can harvest one of Kronk's animations could be the devil and angel on his shoulder. Oh my god, how freaking cute would that be? Kronk is so funny. Oh, crap. and nobody knows what I'm talking about. Oh, that's Nightmare Before Christmas. Heck yeah. I think that's the first um, memory of Nightmare Before Christmas that I've seen. You still have Merlin running around in his Christmas gear? Do I? I think I do. I think I do too. I think I have, um, I think I have a lot of characters running around in their, um, in their, um, Christmassy dream styles. But, like, I mean, Elsa's in her frozen dress, which I'm gonna keep her in probably for a long time. Um, Stitch just looks like Stitch right now. Mickey! Oh, Mickey's still in his holiday outfit. I'm gonna put Mickey in his 
original outfit. Okay, just took me out of there. Um, let's see. Who else has outfits I can change? We have Minnie in her platinum outfit. Goofy's just gonna forever be this conductor because I just think it's so cute. Oh yeah, and <laughs> Donald's in his little ranger outfit. I think that's adorable, so I'm gonna keep him in that. And then Ursula, I just always keep her in her Vanessa form. Ariel is in her winter outfit, which she'll stay in until it's not winter anymore. Merlin is in his festive Merlin outfit. <laughs> and I never got the, um, I never got the uh, summer one. And look, they never even fixed this. It says, participate in the special event to unlock, but that's not right. You have to buy that outfit. I'm, I'm pretty positive. Oh, Ahmed's hanging out with us. Hang on, let's just make sure that I got everybody. And then Wally is in his dapper outfit, which he's gonna stay in. Um, Buzz, I can switch Buzz back too. All right. Hmm? Oh. Elsa's Frozen dress is really awesome. I just watched, yesterday I watched Frozen and Frozen 2 with my toddler. Mm. <laughs> he didn't care, but I was having a great time. We have to stop Ursula from taking control of this valley. Oh my gosh, yeah, I really hope that they do that Wonderland star path. That would be so cool. Okay. Let's go back to, well, let's sell what we just harvested. Well, we'll hoard some of it, and then we'll sell the rest. Oh, no, these are my seeds. Okay. Let's throw 50 of these over here, and we'll sell the rest. Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the rest of this stuff. Sell all of that. Let's see how fast we can get Eve to level up. I'm thinking that, wait, what time is it? Oh, it's 12 o'clock, you guys. Hang on, we need to, hang on, I gotta get my phone up. We need to check the Dreamlight Valley um, socials to see if they posted anything about the update. That'll be super cool if they did. I don't think they did. <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. Disney Dreamlight Valley, it doesn't look like, I don't see anything yet. No, they didn't post anything. 1204. Like I said, they usually post stuff around noon every day. Like every day that they're going to post something, they, they post it at about noon. Uh, we can check back in a little bit, but I was really, really hoping for uh, another hint about the update. Ooh, Darth Stone. You became a member. Did you? You were already a member, I thought. Were you not? Thank you for becoming a member, that's amazing. Wait, did you become a member or did you do a, uh, or did you do like a special chat? I'm really bad at live streaming in case y'all haven't noticed. <laughs> but it says, it, I think it popped up saying that you joined or you became a member, but I think you did like a special chat thingy, which thank you for. And it's great to see you too. I'm so glad that you're here. You've been a member for seven months, so yeah, I was about to say, you're definitely already a member, I knew that. <laughs> oh, Danny, thank you for putting the, um, the banana split recipe in the chat. Someone asked for the banana split recipe, and I meant, I, like, it went into my brain, and I meant to say something, but I did not. Um, so it's in the chat, which is amazing. Darkstone special chat for seven months. Yes, it's so amazing. I can't believe that. I Jesus, I can't believe that I've had any members for that long. Wow. 
That is crazy wild. I really, really appreciate it a lot. It really helps me. The more members I have, the easier it is for me to do this whole YouTube thing. Um, because I do, um, I do enjoy it quite a bit. I would love to do it full time, but it's tough. It's very time consuming. <gasps> Aladdin, look at Iago. Does anyone else love Iago? He's one of my favorites. Well, let's cord some stuff, maybe. Let's see. Do we have any broccoli over here? First of all, the seed can come out. And we can throw some broccoli in. Hmm. I need a bigger chest for over here. Let's throw these seeds in here. Those seeds shouldn't even be in here, I don't think. Oh wait, maybe they should. I don't know. Uh, I'm also bad at storage. I really want to do like a big overhaul of my storage in the game because I have stuff just everywhere. Like on the one hand, I think it's great. It's a great idea to have chests in each biome that hold like the seeds for that biome or like, you know, just the random stuff that you collect from there or like flowers. I like having a flower chest in each one of just filled with flowers. Um, but I have like, I have been, uh, just putting things in chests at random pretty much. And I have like a storage system in my house. So I really need to, um, just overhaul the whole thing. I just know that that's going to be a really tedious, time consuming thing to do. <laughs> and I don't want to do it, but it's pretty much like the organization in my actual life. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Okay, let's look at our characters and see where we're at. So we've got Gaston's at level 7. Ooh, we get a cool outfit at level 8. Rapunzel's done. Eve is halfway to 8. Oh, let's give her her favorite items for the day. A pink hydrangea, a celery, and citrine. Citrine? Citri is that how you say that? I should probably know how to pronounce things before I say them out loud. All right, let's go back to the valley and get Eve some stuff that she wants. Let's go to the beach. What system am I playing this on? I am playing on the PC, which is my favorite. Brick Boss says, I was raised on Disney, so, and I had watched it so much that I knew all the lines and all the classics, AKA Aladdin, Lion King, Jungle Book. Me too. Me too. There's some that I've watched so much that I probably could just quote the entire movie. Like The Little Mermaid, that was a big one for me when I was little. I watched that movie so much. And then there are some that um, I watched with my older son when he, as he's been growing up um, that I could probably tell you all the words to. Like I just rewatched um, Cars the other day. He loved Cars when he was little. Still miffed Rapunzel didn't grant us a Pascal pet. I know. What a missed opportunity. It could still happen, I guess. It's possible. Oh, look at Stitch. Look at how cute he is. Oh, I love you. My neighbors are good. Yes. Model citizen. Oh my god, he's so cute. What am I doing? Oh, uh, Eve needs stuff. Eve needs a pink hydrangea, celery, and that, that other thing. So we can just grab this one off the ground here. Give that to her. Make her super happy. Oh, and we can try the roses thing too. I want to go grab some roses and see if, um... Hey, I bet your first friend was a toy. <laughs> Hi, Jimmy. Let's see. 
Mater, oh my god, I would love Mater! Mater was my son's favorite character. Oh gosh, hang on, we gotta go, we gotta go test out this whole, um, roses theory. I'm a Tigger fan. Yeah, I almost used my mini, or uh, my mini, wow, my Winnie the Pooh mug today because Winnie the Pooh is also amazing. How would they bring cards characters into the game? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I they would pro could probably figure it out the same way they did with the, um, with the lions, you know? Let me see. I, I think I have some roses over here. Let's give Eve some roses. Oh, shoot. Let's split these. Alright, how about five? We'll give her five and see what that does. Okay. Meeting someone like you gives me hope. Okay, Eve. Let's try the roses. It did something. Let's just keep giving her roses. <laughs> I'll just, I'll give her these five and we'll see how that does. I could also try the purified night shards too. So many characters I'd love to see in DDV. There are so many. As usual. Like, I didn't even really think about, like, the Cars characters. I didn't think about Emperor's New Groove, which is also amazing. There are so many characters that I, I like, haven't even really thought about being in the game, but it makes total sense. Pongo and Perdita. Oh, my God. That would be so cute. Should we play Scramble Coin? Because I think that'll help her level up too but don't judge me okay because i'm not good at scramble coin at all just try not to make fun of me <laughs> okay so i know that fairy godmother is a good character but i like i'm just not good with her let's see i do enjoy olaf and i enjoy um eve eve's a good one Let's see, Rafiki is good, but I, I don't necessarily like the, camp, the characters that jump because they, they just jump to one coin, you know? I like the ones that like move through things. Or you know what I mean, they go like across multiple squares, whatever. Uh, if we could do Stitch, we can do, let's do Simba. I think that's a perfectly fine lineup. We'll see how it goes. <laughs> Rescuers down under. Mm -hmm. Oh, did they did they post something? Hang on, we're gonna check y'all. I was checking on Facebook. Oh, they did. They just did two minutes ago. Okay, we're putting a pin in Scramble Coin for a second. Okay, they said Sunday, Jeff. Monday, Jeff. Tuesday, Jefferson. Pick a new name anytime you wish with the name change option arriving in update 9. What? What? It, does that mean that, like, you can change your name in the game? Who cares about that? <laughs> Hang on. Let's read the comments. It says, oh my god, thank you. I don't have to be player name anymore. <laughs> oh no. Uh, yeah, people asking for the date. I wish that would be the first thing that they would tell us, like, when it's going to happen. I guess if you put in a name in the beginning and you don't like it, you'll be able to change it now. So you'll be able to change your character's name. Which is news, I guess. It's definitely not the most thrilling news, that's for sure. Let's see. Scrooge is good because he gives you the extra coin. That's why I like him. What do you guys think of the name change thing? I feel like that's the most underwhelming news we could have gotten today. 
is that we'll be able to change our name. <laughs> oh man, well that was disappointing. Okay, well, it's fine. Okay, so I always, how I play this is I always start off with Scrooge because he does give you that coin bonus. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put him down. It'll like automatically always starts you off with like two. Yeah, you could be brick boss in the game now. <laughs> oh man, I wish that they had given us a different, like I think it's great we'll be able to change the names, but I, I wish they would have given us better news today. Um, let's see. So we can put Stitch anywhere and he can move three spaces and he can pass through things and destroy them. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's put him right here and then, yeah, there we go. Two coins with him and then we can still get our one coin with Scrooge. There we go. <gasps> Pushed my stitch away, away. Okay, so now let's do. Hmm. Man, there's a whole line here. I wish I had somebody that could do that. I guess I could do Olaf over here. Get the most out of his. One. Oh man, I thought he could go one more. Crap. Okay, well. That's fine. Whatever. I'm not good at scramble coin. Okay. Is it scramble coin or sc yeah, scramble coin? I call it scrabble coin in my head sometimes, so I get I get confused. <laughs> Oh wow, okay. You've got a lot of people on your list that you'd like to see in the game. I And I don't recognize half of those names. Ralph, for sure. Are you excited for the Little Mermaid season coming to Speedstorm? And hello, yes, I am. And I actually, I think I'm gonna do a video on that. Um, I should change Stitch out. I think I'm going to do a video on that um, for Friday because um, I am very excited. I have been slacking really hard in Speedstorm, so I um, I haven't been playing it. I, last night I, I was like trying to blow through the season tour of Frozen because I really want to star up Aunt Anna, but I... Um, I haven't really been playing it, so uh, she's stuck at one star right now, and it's just the whole thing. <laughs> Let's switch Olaf to this guy. And we'll do this and this. I think that's good. And then this guy. Man, I really messed this up, didn't I? Like half paying attention. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know. It's scramble coin is so weird. But yeah, I am very excited for Little Mermaid. Um, I get excited for every um, Speedstorm season tour, but it's just it's just on the list of games that I like always kind of want to play, but. Whenever I have the free time to play it, it's like I gotta, I gotta choose. Oh, she looks so sad. I gotta choose where I want to put my energy, and a lot of time it's either like Dreamlight Every Valley because I wonderful. want to, um, I want to make videos for it, or it's, um, it's like a game I can play with my boyfriend or my son. Which my son doesn't really want to play with me that much. <laughs> but. We're going to head into my storage area also, by the way. So we can see what's going on in here. I'm going to look for that thing to give to Eve. Okay, 
and then I need celery for her. Where do I find celery? Ooh. See, that helped quite a bit. I need to get her some celery, though. Ah, it's very hard to choose where to spend your time and energy. I have the same problem every day when I get off work. Yeah. I mean, especially since I have a little baby toddler in the house, like, when I do have free time, it's, it's limited, so I have to, I have to choose wisely. Oh, God, I gotta remember <laughs> what I have in here. Do I have any celery in here? Oh, come on. No. Oh my god, this used to be full of fruit, but that's, like, I've done a lot of cooking, so I need to start, um, restockpiling all of these things that I just haven't done in forever. Oh yeah, there's, like, fish in here. I guess I can throw these fish in here while I'm, while I'm at it. Okay. Oh, these are pre-cooked things. More fish. And some other stuff. Alright, I don't know if I have any celery in my house, but do you guys like my kitchen? I love my kitchen. It's so cute. Okay. Um, let's see. Where do I find celery? <laughs> is it celery? I'm pretty sure it's celery that she wants. Maybe it is on Eternity Isle. Maybe that's why I'm confused. Where's Eve? Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. Eva. Oh, there you are. There you are, buddy. Yeah, it's celery. Hmm. I wonder what Goofy's Is that an Eternity to? Isle thing? I can't remember. <laughs> I need to make a storage in my house. Now with Eternity Isle, yeah. Oh, thank you, Karen. I try. I try to make it cute. <laughs> Celery is on Eternity Isle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Eve flies up in the air and then she's like, it looks like she's disappeared. Uh, my brain malfunctioned for a second. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, let's go back to Eternity Isle now. Sorry, I like glitched out for a second. <laughs> Peter Ferguson, hello, welcome to the stream and to the chat. Yes, it says that I have mail. Unfortunately, I do not have mail. It is just stuck on mail. I don't know. It thinks I have mail, but I don't. I promise, I've checked several times. It just, the red dot won't go away. Okay, so here, I, I must have celery stored somewhere. I must. Yes, I do. Okay. Alright, Eve. Ooh, so close, y'all. So close to eight. I wonder if I give her like a purified night shard if she will, um, if it'll bump her up. Ooh, I just gotta chill. What am I doing? I'm not, I'm, my brain's glitching out. Hang on. My ADD brain doesn't wanna work right. Okay. Mm, let's make a couple of games. Eva. Ooh, that actually did. Oh, I wonder if this one will push her over the edge. Hang on. Ooh, so close. I'm gonna I'm gonna make a couple more of these and give them to her. Oh, hang on. I'm gonna make a couple more. Well, let's make three. Okay. Oh, so close. 
Oh, snow calls. I think I'll just need one more. I have something to give you. Yes, we did it. We're at level eight. Man, it's gonna take me forever <laughs> to get them leveled up. <laughs> All right, look at that. Can I wear those? Oh my goodness, look at how adorable those are. Look at how cute. Oh my gosh. How cute is that? Do you guys love that? They're so cute. Food is easier to get in bulk since you make it, not find it. True. I do, I did have like chest full of fruit and stuff because every day I would harvest all of the fruit and everything and just put it all in the chest. So I need to do that again. I usually give my buddies like 100 foods, fast track their friendship to the max. It's just so repetitive though. <laughs> it's tough. You guys, I don't know how, I don't know what I should do. Hmm. All right, let's just, let's just keep going for another 20 minutes or so, and we'll see how far we can get Eve. I think that's what we'll do. Let's just go run around and clean up. and see what we can get into. Oh yeah, the auto cooker. To be quite honest with you, I've only used the auto cooker like once I I and I felt like it just took so long that it would be faster to just stand there and like cook everything. But that could be because I just haven't, I'm like not experienced with it. I haven't tested it out really and I haven't I don't I don't know that I've made like the best version of the auto cooker either it just has not been a thing that I um have spent a lot of time on I probably should though because I was very excited for it um, see what I get coin I was very excited for it, but uh, I just haven't used it. Let's see. Mary says I cannot hear you. Uh, can you guys, can anybody else not hear me? Is anybody else having trouble hearing me? Let me just double check my stuff. Hello, hello. I'm pretty sure you guys can can hear me, right? Somebody else let me know in the chats if um if you're having any issues hearing me. I'm going to continue on for now. You are low if someone is not wearing headphones. Oh, you know what's so weird about that is that like I, I notice when I play back the, um, the video that it is really low and I don't understand why because it, when I'm looking in like the mixer, my audio is up like all the way. Like here, I can turn it up a bit more. But that's it. Like now it's like getting up into the red. So it's like it thinks that it's loud. So I don't know why it um I don't know why it's so low. I I'm really really bad at the whole like streaming thing and I noticed in OBS it's the same way too. Like when I record my voice in OBS Studio, um I have to turn the volume like way up for it to sound right in my regular videos. 
So if anybody is like an expert in Streamlabs and like microphones and wants to tell me how to do this, I would greatly appreciate it. Because <laughs> this microphone, it's so weird because like, even though it's low on here, when I play my videos or like when I record and I'm making my videos, I can hear like the dog down the street come through the headset. So it's like, it's picking things up, but like the volume for whatever reason is like super low. It's just weird. I can't figure it out. <sighs> I'm going to have to do more research about like how to fix that problem. Cause I did notice it when I do the playback. Oh, look at Gaston and Rapunzel. They're like looking into this ravine down here. Interesting. I'm gonna keep these glasses on because they are so cute. Hey, let's see what Jack Skellington, if he needs anything. Let's do your daily discussion. because That's always helpful. I'm not gonna read it, sorry. I rarely read it anymore. <laughs> um, I wanna just like kind of do as much leveling as I can. So you want banana ice cream, walleye, crystal. I do have those things, just not on me at the moment. Gaston, what do you need? Let's do a discussion with you real quick. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I love Gaston so much. Let's see. He wants the black glass like flowers. I can get that pretty easily. And a snowball. Oh, I wish I had a snowball. I don't have one on me. But I can go get one of those flowers real quick. I'm sure there are some up here somewhere. Uh, I'm sure it shouldn't take us long to find one of those. There's a blue one. Another blue one. Oh, I think I have the blue snake. The blue cobra. Where the heck are all the flowers? anyone ever feel the urge to kick Gaston when he gets baggy or braggy? Is that, what, is that what you mean? I love Gaston. I love his arrogance. He's just hilarious to me. Of course when I'm looking for those flowers I'm not gonna see. I probably have some put away actually. Yeah let's go let's go back over to this well, because I'm pretty sure I have some saved. Let's see. Yep, there they are. Alright, let's go give this to Gaston. Hmm. You know who else I hope is a companion one day is Abu. I think that would be so cute. And Iago. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Alright. Man, what do you guys think about this whole, like, name change thing? I think they definitely could have given us a better hint today. Like, that seems kind of lame, honestly. I know that they are, or I'm, I'm pretty positive they're planning something with doors, like updating, um, adding more doors to the game, because we don't have a lot of doors. But to me, that's like a minor detail, you know, it's like not, it's not anything to get that excited about. <laughs> but I know a lot of people really want doors. And the name change thing, again, minor detail, not really something to get that excited about. 
what I want is hints about the star path and when the update's gonna happen. Which I don't even think Gameloft knows, to be honest. I think that they just... I think they wait till the last second because they don't even know when they're gonna be able to put it out. That's what it feels like, anyway. Leo, hey, can I ask you what kind of Mickey ears you've on here? I think that these ears came from the, um, the Ultimate Edition when I, when I bought the uh, Ultimate Edition of the game. They are called the Dazzling Mickey Mouse Ears Headband. And they are very sparkly and pretty. But yeah, I think I got those when I... It was like one of the exclusive items. And I don't think that you can get them anymore. If I'm correct. About that. But honestly, like, I, I get the premium items, star path items, and the, like, edition exclusive items all confused. I can never remember. Let's see what we got. Oh, let's see if we can find some scales while we're over here. Mulan is soonish. Mulan is soon. Um, oh, yeah, scales right away. Uh, Mulan's not coming in this next update, though. The next one is going to be Monsters, Inc. Let's see. The fact that they posted on Twitter about Groundhog Day gives me hope they're doing something for Valentine's Day. Yeah, I hope so, too. I don't know what we need the scales for, but I'm sure we need them for something, so I might as well grab some while we're over here. So yes, anyone who is wondering about the scales, they are in the oasis, and you have to uh, fish outside of the circles. And you might get a random, like, bass, too. <laughs> Let's do one more. Let's see what we find. How many of you guys have uh, the Eternity Isle expansion that are playing? I think because they seem to be getting back to posting daily on Twitter, that the update is not far that far anymore. I agree. I think the update's going to be next week, personally. So. On Valentine's Day, we should have, um, we should have a fun event happening, hopefully. I'm excited for tomorrow. I think that we're going to get the, um, in the premium shop, I think we're going to get the ski outfit that's coming so I think that's gonna be good and then there are no more premium items that are new um, that are gonna be coming out until the next update which is why I think next week is gonna be the week oh no we messed up oh I messed up again I was see I can't read and like do things at the same time Oh my gosh, you have Eternity Isle on the Switch? How is it playing on the Switch? Is it, like, any improvement? Queen Miku, you have the DLC, that's awesome. Mariah, I don't know if- Dang it, you guys, this is like the third time I messed up. Let's- let's focus for one second. Hang on. I can't focus. <laughs> I just can't do it. Mariah, I started the expansion last week and I love it. That's awesome! I did play through like the whole main storyline of the expansion um, up until this point. And the next um, expansion update will be probably in April, is what I'm guessing. K 
Karen, you got it the day it came out. Me too. Same. All right, you guys. Let's see. I'm gonna have to go make some more berry salad. Here soon. Oh, look at Elsa in her beautiful dress. She's so pretty. This is like my favorite outfit too, by the way. <laughs> I can't remember which one this is, but I love it so much. Mm, let's see if we can do this thing. Does anyone else, like, not really love time bending? It's, like, not my favorite thing to do. Oh, no! Oh, my God. Sorry, it's time sensitive. I got so scared. It's not my favorite thing to do, but now that I have, like, changed a bunch of people to be time vendors, it's a lot easier. I made a terrible mistake of only making, like, one character a time vendor, and then it took me forever to get enough things to, uh, to make more time vendors. It was just, it was a whole thing. A little less intuitive with the controls, yeah, on the Switch. Leo says, I play it on the Switch and had no or less bugs in so quite some time. And since a few days my green chests are back, the money one, they were gone for some time. Interesting. I wonder if we'll get a lot more villager skins in the future. Like the dream styles? Yeah. We'll definitely get dream styles in at least one. Uh, I, th I think probably two in every star path. Um, and then we have the dream bundles also, uh, that they didn't have one with the last update. So hopefully they'll have one with this update. Um, I like those too. They do cost quite a lot of moonstones, but you get like a dream style and some quests and stuff that go along with it. So I think that'll be, that'll be super fun. I love the dream styles for sure. I live in fear of picking up memories on the Switch, but otherwise it's not that bad as long as I don't leave myself logged in for days at a time. <laughs> oh no. I guess that's a problem on the Switch, like if you accidentally leave it on for too long. Or logged in. Hmm. Speaking of dream styles, here is Ariel in her beautiful winter dream style. I love it so much. Hello, your character looks so cute today. Thank you. I think she does too. We just got these glasses from Eve and they are so cool. But yeah, I really love this costume. What's this costume called? Let's see. What is this one? This is the Gilded Royalty outfit. Which, you guys, tell me where this came from because I don't remember. <laughs> does anybody know? Can anybody tell me? Where did I get this? I don't recall, but here are the, um, these were like the Eternity Isle exclusive, like DLC outfits. I don't love them. What do you think? They make her look rather frumpy. Don't you think? This, very cool. And I kind of like the guy outfit for the, um, the, uh, Rapunzel level 10 outfit. This is, um. I guess the guy one. I don't know. I think it looks pretty cool on her, too. This outfit, you think it was a premium outfit? The outfit came with the monkey for getting the DLC and playing within the first week. That's right. You're right. This is like one of those exclusive things. This is definitely, I mean, to me, this is like the one of the coolest outfits I've seen in the game. It looks so, so neat. It's so pretty and like stylish, you know, it's like very flattering on my character. Yeah. I don't like that the legs are cut so short with the overalls. Yeah, it's weird, right? It looks frumpy to me. Yeah, you guys are so smart. You remember everything. I remember nothing. And it's so funny because, like, I <laughs> I make videos about 
everything uh, in the game, but I, like, my memory is just so bad, I can never remember. And this, it's just overwhelming, the amount of stuff that's in the game. Like, items and stuff, so it's just, it's tough to keep track. I think I'm gonna do some more fishing over here. Oh, the level 10 Rapunzel dress. Yeah, you know, I haven't even really looked at it at nighttime. We should do that. Do you guys want to do that real quick? Hang on. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Let's go over to the Wild Tangle. Just to, like, set the scene. And let's put on uh, her dress, her level 10 dress, and see what it looks like at night. Because I don't think... <laughs> I don't think I've even looked at it at night. Because I didn't really like it. The dress. But everyone's saying that it lights up at night and that's what, like, makes it cool. Because, like, during the day, this is not, not very flattering. And I don't know why they're doing this weird, like, kind of, like, mermaid bottom to the dress. It's not, it's not a good design, in my opinion. But let's change it to nighttime and we'll see it all lit up. So I think that'll be cool. Let's just go eight hours in the future. Okay. I mean, it's pretty neat. What do you guys think? Oh, look at how beautiful it is over here at night. It's not it's not lighting up as much as I thought it would. That's for sure. <laughs> you don't like it. <laughs> I some people really love it. I don't love the design or like the the silhouette of the dress i don't like the design on it like you know the the rapunzel like sun and all of that stuff is very pretty and i like the fact that it lights up but i wish it was like more of a like like a poofy dress or something you know like i don't like the bottom the bottom is weird to me it does technically light up though although is it just not dark oops sorry guys is it just not dark enough? Hmm. What do you think? It's interesting. An interesting choice. Let's go back to daytime. I'm getting mixed reviews on the on the dress. <laughs> Some people like it a lot. Some people are like no. I feel like I'm a person that's like, nah. I'd ra I like, I like the, this version like way better. This is way nicer and more flattering in my opinion. I like the back. But this is my favorite outfit ever. Yeah, pretty coloring and pattern. But the bottom of the dress is just so weird to me. But I'm not like a mermaid dress. Ooh, a chest. I'm not a mermaid dress person. Like if you, you look at like wedding gowns and stuff, the mermaid bottom. I've just never really been a big fan of that. It looks uncomfortable to me. The fact that they changed Moana's level 10 dress and like everyone is upset by it and they still have not put it back is very upsetting for me. Like, literally everyone liked the way they had it originally. And then they made it blue, which doesn't even make any sense. Now it looks more like an aerial type dress than a Moana dress. And I just don't know why they have ignored our outrage about it. Capybara! Alright. I'm just cleaning up and stuff because there's no way I'm going to get to the next quest um, in the next 10 minutes. <laughs> 10 minutes is about all I have uh, left. So, I'm just cleaning up and hanging out. But yeah, time bending is not my favorite thing to do. I need to do more of it, but I 
it's just not, it's not for me. I wish I liked it more, but. Then again, I did make things like really difficult for myself by not making like every new character a time bender, which is what I should have done. Which I will remember, you know, if we get another expansion pass and say we get another tool, um, and we get another role for our characters, I will remember that and I'll just make all of the new characters the new role. Um, which I think is like probably what you're supposed to do. And I am, I'm pretty positive we're going to get a new expansion every year. I mean, if we didn't, that would be insane. But hopefully, at the end of this year, we'll get another one. Eve! I tried to full time bend, then I discovered it was pointless since I wanted more than four watering machines. And we're not allowed to... Wait, you're not allowed to have more than four watering machines? I'm so behind, you guys. I haven't, um, I haven't, I don't think I've even made the watering thing yet. Um, and I, I planned on setting that up in the valley, like setting up some nice, um, areas with pumpkins and the watering thingies, just so I could have, like, a never-ending <laughs> supply of pumpkins. Um... Okay, so it's four per biome. Okay. I guess that makes sense. I think you can, um... I, I still have to test out, like, how it waters, because... Some people put them, like, they make, like, a square, and then they put them in the corners. And then somebody else told me to put them all four, like, back to back, and, and have them, like, spread out towards the corners like how they water. It's like a more efficient way to do it. I don't know. I have to test out um, how it works, but I haven't yet. It's one Number five plus is inactivated. Oh, interesting. Did I give Jack his uh. thing that he wanted? Pretty sure I did. Right? Oh no, no I didn't. That was Gaston. Never mind. I must go. Disregard. To be done. Here, let's do this, this one. Boom. Sometimes the things that I time bend like don't appear. Does that happen to anybody else? Like I don't see it. Yeah, I don't even know how many squares of water. <laughs> I don't know. That's such a random number I feel like. I'm gonna have to test it out. It's, but like I said, I just, I haven't been like the biggest on time bending, so I haven't had what I need to craft um, all the machines yet. Like I, I wanted to put a vacuum in each biome, but I feel like it's pointless if you're not doing like the best vacuum. So, you know, you have to build each level of the vacuum to get the best one. It's just a whole, the whole thing that I just haven't uh, invested a lot of time into. But I did build this little canoe thing. Isn't it cool? I love it. I love the way it blends in over here. Very cute. Let's see what we can get over here. Oh no, I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Oh no. happens to me too, but it auto enters my inventory? Hmm. Oh crap, I ran out of space. I gotta sell some stuff. 
You put the canoe near Moana's boat. That's a good idea. Do you have Moana Moana's uh do you have her boat on the beach still? That's where I have mine. Sell this. Um, I don't want to sell this stuff. I want to go put it all in chests. So that's what I'm going to do. I think that's the last thing I'm going to do is put everything, oops, put everything away in some chests. Where am I? I just got turned around. <laughs> Oh boy. Okay, put this stuff in here and then we'll go back over to the docks where I have all my storage and we'll put stuff in there. You're not a fan of Ursula and Vanessa. I love it. <laughs> I don't know if, um, if you were in here earlier when I said that The Little Mermaid is like one of my favorites from childhood, but I loved Ursula. I don't know why. I just really have always been a big fan. Oh, I don't want to put that over there anyway. What am I doing? I like her songs in the movie. Why did I put that in there? I could go give that night shard thingy to Jack. Where'd Jack go? Come here, Jack. Let's give him that. See if it boosts him up a little bit. <laughs> Look at <laughs> So cute. I just, I love the way he like lurks around the valley. But I was really, really happy when they brought the Vanessa dream style because I was, I really hated trying to catch Ursula and catch Ariel in the water because they would just freaking disappear uh, halfway across the valley. It was super annoying. Ooh, Jack is so close to level 10. I should have been working on him. Can I give him something else? I know I have these crystals somewhere. Banana ice cream isn't hard to make. Let's go make a banana ice cream real quick. It's been like 25 years since you watched Little Mermaid. <laughs> I tried to watch the new one recently, the live action one. I got like halfway through it. Um, it wasn't bad. I just uh, I just couldn't finish it. Um, probably because of the baby or something. But I didn't finish it. Uh, but I didn't love some of the changes they made, like with the bird, with Scuttle. Scuttle was like a big deal for me. I was really sad about the fact that they changed Scuttle so much. And the song, oh my god. The song that that bird sings in the movie is just terrible. And I didn't love the, like, the graphics of it, like the CGI or whatever, and it just wasn't for me. <laughs> Give a banana ice cream. Yay! I wonder if we can just give him random stuff and if he'll like, if it'll help. What do you think you would like? I don't want to give him any of my ingots. Give you some pebbles. <laughs> See what that does. Does that do anything? Uh. Hang on. Let's see. Giving him random items do anything? Not really. It might be like a sliver. Uh -huh. Um, yeah, I don't have anything that interesting. What about one of these? No, not really. I feel like if we Ooh. give him a couple more night shards, he'll level up though, so maybe that could be the last thing that we do. <gasps> Beware the underdog is here! Hey! Hey Jamie, just popping in on my lunch break to say hi and happy YouTube birthday. Thank you so much. Oh, I'm so glad that you could pop in and say hello. I wasn't sure if you were gonna make it. I think I I think I messaged you on, on Discord, but I didn't check to see if you replied to me. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad with Discord. I like never uh 
I'm never checking anything on there. I need to like get some mods or something who can handle business over there for me because um, I love my server and I love that everyone like hangs out and talks with each other over there but I'm just so bad at keeping up with it. My niece loves Disney but hates Jack Skellington because he's creepy. <laughs> For her, but do you think she would still like Dream Life Valley? Oh yeah, Dream Life Valley. I think um, everything, even the scary characters, are like toned way down. For this game, so I think that she would probably like it. I know that my <laughs> my son loves Nightmare Before Christmas, which is so funny. He loves it because it's creepy. <laughs> but um, I have a my niece is little and she likes it. She likes the game. <laughs> I have something to give you. Yeah, that helped a lot. I could probably get him up to 10 right now. I also think Jack is creepy. <laughs> oh my gosh, I love him so much. But probably because my son loved him so much, like I watched a lot of Nightmare Before Christmas. <laughs> you rushed through all of his quests. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love Jack. Oh my gosh, hello, welcome to the stream. You have a very long name that I cannot pronounce, but hi, I'm glad that you're here. We're actually getting ready to uh, wind down in a minute. My daughter used to love Jack Skellington. Even as a toddler, she would point and say Pumpkin Jack. Oh my God, yeah, that's like my, my older son. He's loved Nightmare Before Christmas since he was like a toddler. FYI, you can hide characters if they are not wanted. Yes, you can do that. Hang on, I actually can show you really quick before I do anything else. You can go over here and click on this. And if you don't want somebody in your valley, you can send them away. So, you know, if we want to, who do we want? If we want to send away Ursula, we can just click on her and it, she'll be grayed out and she'll disappear. Until you want to bring her back. Or she'll probably come back when you turn the game off. <laughs> do you think we're ever going to see Maleficent? I mean, I definitely... And I think we'll see her in the regular valley because the Forgotten Lands is like, it just looks like Maleficent should be there. We need Jack in his pumpkin outfit as a dream stuff. Ooh, that would be so cool. Like Halloween next year, do you think? Are you kidding me? I can, I'm going to have to go make another fucking <laughs> night shard real quick. Hang on, hold please. We're gonna make one more and get him to level 10 before we say goodbye. Because we just have to. Yeah, I was saying we definitely will see Maleficent. I mean, we have to. I feel like the Forgotten Lands was just like designed after her. Um, definitely looks like she's been doing stuff over there. Aurora. Uh, it, like the other classic princesses, I think we'll be behind a paywall of some sort. So I think we'll get her, but I think all the really like iconic classic princesses are going to be um, brought in over time with like big expansions and stuff like that. But yeah, okay. Level 10? Yes! We did it. All right, a present just like Christmas. Yeah. There he is. Yay. All right, and now we have to do his quest in order to get his dream style, which I am very excited about. <laughs> Quick, there's work to do. I think he's cute. Whatever, I love him. <laughs> All right, you guys. I think. Oh, Sharon, hello. Thank you for joining the stream. I'm so sorry I'm about to end it. <laughs> oh, but thank you so much. You you watch the weekly update videos. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that you guys like those. And thank you guys for all coming and hanging out with me and supporting me. It has been really a fantastic year and I've made so many friends and it's just been so wonderful. I really have, have met so many nice people 
Like, I'm shocked. The, the internet can be a nice place sometimes, so. Doug, thank you. Oh, what are you doing? I can't leave without sending a little anniversary gift. What are you sending? What did you do? Did you do something? Oh gosh, hang on. Did you do something? What'd you do? Legal issues, we can't have non-Disney, but. <gasps> Doug, what are you doing? Doug just gifted five Jamie Games memberships. <gasps> oh my gosh. What a way to end the stream. Holy cow. That's so nice. Oh, I'm going to cry. That's so sweet. Thank you. Oh my gosh. I have no idea how that whole thing works. If like people have to claim them or not. I have no idea. But I'm going to give you guys a couple of minutes to figure that out. Because I don't know how it works. Oh my gosh. How fun. Thank you so much. It's a lot. It's not much. Oh my god. It's a lot. That's a lot. Thank you so much. And now all of you guys can go. Well, I I could actually I could make my one uh, bloopers video available for ever for all the members so that all the new members can see it. I think that'll be great. Oh, you're using the little emojis too. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm so happy. And you guys, all of the new members will get their names displayed at the end of my video tomorrow. So that'll be awesome. Oh my gosh, how cool. Yes, and I do have some, I have some uh, members only stuff that you guys can can go check out on the channel. Oh, how fun. <laughs> and thank you so much. I have been trying so hard. <laughs> it has been a very, very good year. I started the channel uh, when my youngest was like six months, seven months old, something like that. Um, and it was definitely a hard time, so this channel definitely uh, helped my mental health a lot because <laughs> I made so many what friends and I was able to connect with so many people, and it was just, it was so, it's just been so good. Jen says, thanks, Jamie. You're so sweet and love all the updates you share. Thank you. I try so hard. All right, I am going to go because, oh, Doug, thank you. Congrats on 7K. I don't know how exactly how many I have right now. I meant to check, but I am very, very grateful to all of you guys. Thank you so much. Thanks everybody who's subscribed, everybody who's become a member. It's just been so nice with you guys. And I'm gonna do it again this year. <laughs> Brick Boss says, I've been watching you since May. That's amazing. Thank you so much. Oh, you guys are so sweet. What a perfect day. I never know how to end a live stream. It's kind of a, like, you hang up. <laughs> you know? Like, I don't want to hang up. <laughs> Thank you so much, you guys. Oh, you're all so nice. All right. I am going to get off of here and go spend time with my little baby who is probably missing me right now. Oh, thank you, Rachel. They posted on Facebook finally. It was underwhelming news, so it's whatever. But yeah, I always look on Facebook. I should have looked on Twitter. But, but anyway, thank you guys for coming. I'm going to end the stream. I'm so grateful for all of you who have been watching. So grateful for Doug for giving away some subscriptions. That was so awesome. And yeah. I'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to do the, the shop refresh like we do every week. And we'll look at dream snaps and all that. And it'll be super fun. So, yeah. All right, you guys. I am going to leave you here. Oh, I love you guys so much. 